hi, it's Angie Christie, and today I have a quick little haul from Sunlight and Shine, and she sells on Whatnot. She also has um, eBay as well, um, and so we'll see what we have. <laughs> um, so first, we'll just start with the obvious. Um, so we have this $5 bill. It's a red note from 1953, um, and so that's why you see like the red ink on here. So these are um, worth a little more than five dollars. Um, the back looks normal. Um, so they're just something fun. You don't see these very often. They're just kind of something fun to have in your collection. Um, so I'll add it to mine. <laughs> so there's the first one. We'll just put five in the corner over there. <laughs> um, this is the lightest weight one and if it wasn't wrapped I wouldn't have thought there was anything in it because you can barely see anything in it. So let's see what's in there. And all of these items um, came from um, a whatnot sale, and um, and it was like a, a junk drawer lot, basically. So they were all sitting in a drawer, and as you win, um, you get to pick something from the drawer. And here's the first one. Oh yeah, now I now I remember. Okay, this is a mystery thing to me. It just it's so different. I've never seen anything like it. So you see, it looks like a hand at the top and it's this little vial and it says um, Esme Green Eyes New York something something so I'm just gonna put it with my perfume collection but I just I liked the little the hand at the top I thought that was kind of fun but yeah <laughs> So there's one of the items, and I don't know where this is going to hang out. It's going to just fall over. Here we go. I'm just going to stick it over there. <laughs> so there was one, and then this one, I think. So this is this is what got me going. I loved this and had to buy it. <laughs> um, and so it is a bank. Not a bank. I'm sorry. We thought it was a bank at first, but it's, it's not a bank. And it's... Um, it's made by Gottinger, uh, and it says licensed products, so it's an official licensed product from the um, United States Postal Service, um, so it's not just, you know, anyway, so it looks like a, it looks like a, you know, the mailbox, right, but, um, and at first, they thought it was a bank, but it's really not a bank, it's a, um, a stamp dispenser so you would stick the roll of stamps inside and then as they come out you would just pull it out you know stamp by stamp so it's a little stamp dispenser isn't that cute I love it I don't know how to open it yet um there's a little tiny tiny screw right there I feel like there's something to do with that there's another screw down there. There's something rattling inside. It looks like, you can see right there, it looks like there's part of a stamp in there. <laughs> so maybe it came with some free stamps. <laughs> um, I don't know how to open it. Um, I feel like it should have been an easier thing to open, right? Like I feel like if you push, this thing looks like something you would push and then it would open. I don't know, Captain. Um, because it feels like it wants to open somehow, but I don't know how it would open, like right here. Maybe it would like come forward, or like this thing lifts up. Maybe that, no, because there's a screw there. I don't know what this part does. Maybe you feed them into it and then then you just pull them out. So maybe you don't really open it. Maybe you feed them into it. And if you have to open it, then you can with the screws. So maybe that's it. Um, so who knows? <laughs> um, but anyway, that was my fun little find over there. I really like that. <laughs> um, and then, big surprise. You can probably guess what this is. I love these things. Um, so this is a vintage compact. And it has... The nice, like, um, brown tortoise shell looking cover, and then it's gonna have a mirror and try not to blind you. And then it has this, this part. 
so normally you just um, it looks like it's hinged over there so it should open let's see let's see if I can open it but this part should open somehow hmm well I don't know how because it looks like it's hinged um, like on this side and then that part would open maybe you push it towards you or away from you maybe it's away there we go got it so then you see that it has um, I feel like I need my tweezers here we go it's a little makeup compact I just think they're so nice I wish like today's compacts would have like this little flap over thing before, you know, I think that would be nice and then the back is nice and pretty and it has like that fun gray, not gray, brown. <laughs> and then these items you can see right away. So, um, and these are just like the back plate for drawer pulls and so the drawer pulls would go into here. So for like a nightstand or something, um, but you can also do something to upcycle them with. I just really like them and then here's what the back looks like it's just old hardware very fun they look like they're brass put those are here all right let's see what else do we have we'll just go over here whatever this giant thing is these are kind of heavy you can kind of tell what it is already <laughs> um so they look like, um, maybe it's a, a pheasant or a quail. I don't know. I think it's a pheasant though. But these are um, salt and pepper shakers. So there's, you can see on the top. And there's something on the bottom that tells us who made it or where it was made. And it says, um, I don't know what it says. Something manufacturing company. Uh, let's see if we can see on the other one. <laughs> um, I just like them. They're birds. <laughs> um, so here's the other one. See if this stamp is easier to read. Like WB or M. WB Manufacturing Company, I guess. I don't know. So cute. They're kind of heavy. Those won't fall over. <laughs> so those are super cute. I really like those. <laughs> um, and so then we'll see what's inside this one. Okay. And I like how she made her own little ornament holder here. <laughs> These are like those like snack cup things, right? And then taped together and it, it makes a perfect ornament holder. I'm totally going to have to use this. Um, or this is Chipotle Ranch and Buttermilk Ranch. <laughs> I have a tickle in my throat, guys. Sorry. I feel like I'm going to cough. Um, but, so, this is a reverse painted. Um, it's, it's hard to tell, but it's reverse painted and it's a dove. And it's an ornament. Um, and then the bottom it says, Peace on Earth. 2005. Just love it. I think it's so nice. And I really like the way she has it wrapped in this thing. Super good idea. Such a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in there just to keep it safe. <laughs> um, and then there's this one. And there's a name for that style. It's like, I think it starts with an N or something like that. It's like not nombe. It's some, there's some sort of word that they use um, for that style where it's like a reverse painted ornament. Um, and it's like a company that makes them that's really popular. Um, but I don't think that that's from that company. Otherwise it would have probably been marked. Um, and so then here's this next one. Ooh, and there's two in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay. It's a panda bear on a bell. And it's cloisonne. So you see how they put the enamel inside the gold um, rope part thing that they put on there. And then the bottom, there's even a little bell in there. 
It looks like it's kind of stuck in there. Um, let's see. And it looks like a glass ball, actually, that's in there. Let's use these handy-dandy tweezers. See if we can get it free. Here we go. See? It looks like a, um, a glass like a glass bell um, and so now it'll jingle isn't that cute so cute you don't see panda bears very often I don't think so cute and then the next one this is a butterfly and you would just put some like fishing line through here and so you can hang it and it'll look like a butterfly hanging or it does set down pretty nicely um, and the wings are on springs it's got a little bit of not spring in its step but spring in its wings <laughs> so it can fly <laughs> um, I just love the enameling on this too so nice so pretty very colorful that teal and the green and the blue or not blue, but green and yellow, sorry. And then the cute little black dots. Cute. <laughs> so there's the butterfly. Move this over. And there's just one more item to share. Let me move these back a little. Okay. See what else we have in here. Um, there's this guy. And these guys. I'll put this butterfly over yonder. Like that. There we go. Okay, so we have one more item in here. And then check this guy out. It's a Buddha. <laughs> um, but he's carved. So he looks like um is it carved resin probably? Um and then in the carving and then they added like paint into the carving so that it would settle within the cracks of where it was carved so it has the different colors of paint the little buddha guy and his little buddha belly he's just chilling <laughs> um but this would be really cute like just hanging out it's just it's just kind of like a relaxing like fun thing <laughs> i think he's adorable um, so there's the little Buddha guy. <laughs> um, and then from the same person, I have another um, small haul for her. And I'll open this box. There's one more bonus here. We have a few other items that I received um, from her. I think that's it. Oh, this box. Okay. Um, so we have... A little bit of a few pieces of jewelry that I'll share with you. Um, so this one, oh, love it. Okay, so it's matchy matchy. So it has earrings that match. Again, the cloisonne. I'm just a sucker for this, and these are my favorite style of like earring backs because you can never lose the back of your earring, and they just stay put on your ears, um, and they're very comfortable to wear. So they're little butterflies um, earrings, and then they totally match the butterfly on this pendant so um, with the butterfly and the lotus flower so pretty um, so put these little butterflies down here um, and it comes with a really long chain so you just put this right over your head um, so that's what the chain looks like it's a nice chain I like it um, but so pretty I love this stuff I have a few of these types of pendants and of course the earrings too um so <laughs> it's kind of one of those things like if it's close and I'm, I'm probably gonna want to buy it <laughs> just it's a weakness <laughs> um and then here's something else that's really fun and I, I have something similar to this already um but there was a few extra little attachments that i don't have um so this and i like the chain too the chain is something unique um let me put the chain clasped together okay 
So that's the, what the chain part looks like. But then we're going to get down to here. And this is who makes it. So it's Origami Owl. And you can see that this is like a little plate in the back. But if you turn it over, it says Love Life right there. I totally have this plate. <laughs> I have this type of plate. It's like a little coin that you stick inside. Otherwise, it's clear. It's a clear locket. Um, and down there, it says Origami Owl right there. Um, and then inside, you get these little charms. I'm trying to move them apart so you can see, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Um, so there's, oh, not in frame, sorry. So one says forever family down there. That's a little infinity symbol. And then there's a wedding ring. And then there's a little white, um, chip stone in there. Probably it's either a diamond or it's, um, um, or it symbolizes the, the month of April. Cause that would have been their stone for April. So unless... Nope, I think it came out of the ring. Look, yeah, it's missing from the ring. But they do make the little stones like that that you can put in there for the different colors depending on the birth month of whoever you're putting in there, um, which I would have like, so I have like a cute little, um, but I think they come in the form of a heart. So I think it's like a little stone heart, not like that one. So that would need to be repaired, put in and back in there. But um, I liked it because it had this, it says happiness, um, that's just a origami owl looking thing. Um, but this one, I'm a sucker for keys. <laughs> so, um, so I liked this, um, well, skeleton key that they had on here. And then the happiness part, I thought that was fun. Key to happiness, get it? <laughs> um, so these are just like extra dangles that are attached and then attached again. So, um, so you can always add more to it, like a charm bracelet, but it's a charm necklace. Kind of fun. <laughs> so there's that part. So this guy, and then there's just one more bag here, and then we'll see what's inside here. This is from a different sale, like a jewelry sale. Let's start with this clock thing. Um, and let's see. Not entirely too. There we go. Okay, this is fun. It's very Alice in Wonderland esque. <laughs> um, but I like clocks, so it's really fun. This one's backwards. There we go. Now you can get the full effect of the clocks. <laughs> um, I think that's really cute. Super fun. And then the backs. This is what the backs look like. Um, but just a fun necklace with clock dangles. Um, Let's see, scooch these up. And then there's a couple more things in here, just two more. Okay, then there's this one, and this one is a sassy tassel with bling at the end. Now you never see that. I always just see like the chains that hang down like this, but someone went to the extra step to add extra sparkle and bling to the end of the tassel, which is really funny. Um, and then, and then it has the nice Y shape type thing with the tassels hanging at the end. This would be really pretty, like just like on a black dress, just to give it some, some extra added bling. And it looks like it hangs down pretty far, really long. And then it doesn't have a, um, a maker listed per se. Yeah, I don't see a maker. It just has this little, little, um, crystal chip in there. That's it. And it's so sparkly. It's really pretty. Definitely catches the light really nicely. This would pair really good with some rhinestone earrings. So there's that one. And we have just one more. And it is this guy. Now this one. So exciting. Okay. I like this chain. It's like a um like a brassy colored chain so it, it matches nicely versus having like a stark gold or stark what um sorry silver chain and then it has it looks like someone handmade this and so it has these fun little beads um here. This looks like um sea glass right there. But then look at how pretty this is. 
And you can see how it has like the, it, yeah, you can see how it is see-through, transparent. But I just really like the colors and it has like got fast, it's faceted. So you see the different shapes, really pretty. And I like how, you know, here, and then it kind of has this, this stone. So it really brings out that green that's in the, um, in the necklace as well. So very pretty, very pretty. <laughs> um, and so then that's all I had to share with you for this time from Sunlight and Shine. And I will link her, um, it might be her eBay store that I'll put in the description or her whatnot. Um, but I'll link it in there so you can see. So, and then again, like what this would end up looking like is like when you sign in, she would have a setup similar to this and you would um, start bidding. And so say you bid and you ended at like $8 or something. Now you would get to pick one item from this this whole array of a, of a selection for $8. Um, and so say you picked like the cloisonne and the earrings and then so she would take it away and then add something else maybe to the mix. Um, I'll just add this just for for funsies um, and then she would run it again and then so you would be bidding and then whoever wins the bid and how say this person bids it and gets you know eleven dollars and then they would come in and say I want I want this and so then this would go away and she would add something else um, cute in its place like this type of thing get it <laughs> um, so that's um, what kind of auction this was um, that I was attending where you can just kind of pick an item and they're just kind of like smalls um, but it's nice because then you can add a few items together and um, save on shipping and just kind of get like a few miscellaneous items that you um, would otherwise probably pass on if you're just you're not going to go in and shop for a single bell right but if you're like oh yeah I love that bell and I love the cloisonne and you're like okay I want all these things so it's a great way to move some inventory that's um a little bit smaller items um, and then it's also a great way for buyers to save on shipping so all right that's all I have for you today so um, I will put the link to my whatnot um, well my whatnot link in there in the description um, so that if you want to join whatnot don't download the app yet just um, go to my link first because then if you go and download the app after clicking on my link you'll get a $10 shopping credit and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions, please just send me a message. And stay tuned to see what we unbox next. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.